Hi, I'm Katie. I'm Zizi's mom. Um, Zizi receives care at three different children's hospital centers in Northern Virginia and in DC at Children's National at Innova Fairfax Children's and Children's Hospital of Richmond at BCU. So in May of 2022, um, our whole family got sick with COVID. Um, it hit ZZ the hardest, and since then he just has never recovered. So after that acute phase where we were treating his immediate symptoms, it went into daily migraines, just chronic exhaustion. We just He just wasn't himself at all. Working with our primary care physician and in and out of the emergency rooms trying to figure stuff out with neurology, he went through neurology for migraines and then finally in November of 2022 was diagnosed at Children's National Hospital at their long COVID clinic with long COVID. Our children's hospitals are important to us because children's hospitals are fully child-centered. Um, it takes a lot of effort and to work with children, especially children with special needs and complex needs. So having access to those quality doctors makes a difference in the level of care and the accessibility to care for our child and making sure that he's getting the best that he is able to for what he needs. We chose to participate in Family Advocacy Day with Children's Hospital Association because there are thousands of kids like ZZ across the country who are battling and struggling with long COVID and there's not a lot of answers. There's not a lot of research. There's not a lot of funding. There's not a lot of specialists. As we said, he's got seven specialists across three different hospital systems and that doesn't even include OT, PT, and mental health providers. So we're here to ask for funding and research to help all those kids who are suffering or don't know and to educate primary care physicians to be that front line to help these kids get the services and the assistance they need. Advocating for children's health and hospitals is important because it's central to being a parent. You want the best for your kid and you wanna be able to access that in a timely manner when you need it and for whatever you're facing as a family together. And those children's hospitals are able to guide you through not just as a patient, but as a family unit as a whole. I want Congress to know that children's hospitals are important to our future because these kids are our future. They play a vital role in making sure that our kids grow up strong and healthy so that they can impact our country tomorrow. I would really like federal lawmakers to invest in the physicians of tomorrow, develop more programs. There's a huge physician shortage for all pediatric hospitals, particularly with specialty departments and mental health care. So funding those programs to entice more specialists into those fields is going to be vital to making these hospitals grow.